Welcome back. 839 is now the time. It's a two week long celebration of science showcasing some of Metro Atlanta's most fascinating people and places. The Atlanta Science Festival kicked off this past weekend with a jam packed schedule of science and technology related events. Good day Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at a place where he should feel right at home, right? <laughs> the Amphibian Foundation in Buckhead. <laughs> Fall things really hopping there this morning. Lots of little ah. creatures, yourself included, right? <laughs> uh, well, I got to say, actually, I'm finding a lot of similarities between you and this spot at Salamander, oh, yeah? both Metro Atlanta natives. They both <laughs> eat bugs. Actually, the only big difference is that we want to protect this guy and <laughs> we don't want to protect you. We don't really care what happens to Buck Lanford. Yeah, this is one of the many residents here at the Amphibian Foundation. I said before the break, this place really is a hidden gem of Metro Atlanta, and it's one of the many places you can visit during the Atlanta Science Festival. It's not easy being green. A famous frog once said, it's not easy being green. But even he probably had no idea just how hard life would become for amphibians. 43% of the world's amphibians are either already extinct or declining. And that's just a huge number. That's why in 2016, Mark Mandica co-founded the Amphibian Foundation. Housed at Buckhead's Blue Heron Nature Preserve, the foundation partners with agencies across the country to keep salamanders and frogs like these. And then if you would like to see Georgia's rarest frog. From vanishing forever. So there have been mul multiple causes identified. Uh, habitat loss is huge. There's not as much uh, habitat as there was for them. The habitat that remains a lot of times it's contaminated, so that's another cause. A top priority around here is the frosted flatwood salamander. Look how beautiful this thing is. These speckled creatures have seen a 90% loss in population since the year 2000. Uh, there's one wetland left in the state of Georgia. They've already probably disappeared from South Carolina. Uh, they used to be common throughout the whole coastal plain and now are restricted to a couple clusters of puddles. The hope is that captive salamanders will breed and eventually end up back in the wild. Same goes with striped newts. This pair right here has been producing more for us than any other group. Which are growing in number here. So far, it's been great because it's the first project we're working on where we've actually released some of our babies. But Mandika says one of the biggest challenges for the foundation is getting more people on board with its mission. After all, not all frogs are as cuddly as this one, but if anything deserves a big hug, it's probably them. A thousand frogs or a thousand salamanders can consume five million bugs a year, okay? It's not five million. Some of them, some of my favorite ones specialize in eating mosquitoes. So right there, I feel like they've earned their place to stay on, on the earth. And people so see, even if you didn't know that you loved amphibians, you do love amphibians. And we're hanging out with Jordan Rose, co-founder of the Atlanta Science Festival. Good to see you. How are you? I'm great, Paul. Thanks, thanks for having me on oh, the show. Oh, uh, my pleasure. And I love being here at the Amphibian Foundation. Tell me real quick about the background of the Atlanta Science Festival. Why did you guys start this? Well, we really think Atlanta is a science city. Yeah. And there are so many opportunities for educational yep. advancement, for jobs in the science and technology fields here in Atlanta. Yeah. And so we want wanted to have a huge party to celebrate all of those opportunities yeah. and, and ways that people can connect to science and meet science professionals. And when you say huge, you mean it. We're talking more than 100 events over two weeks, and these are all over the city, right? We have 150 community partners that have come together wow. over these two weeks to celebrate science. There are 70 or so different venues. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing how, how much this community comes together to learn about yeah. science. Yeah, quickly, it all ends with a big expo, and that's something everybody should come to. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. At Piedmont Park on yeah. March 23rd from 11 to 4, it's a completely free science party. There are tons of hands-on activities, yep. opportunities to touch a human brain, to look oh. up your nostrils, <laughs> uh, to, to meet uh, Delta uh, Delta Airlines uh, uh, technicians oh, wow. who like like fix the engines oh, and, really cool. and you can do some virtual reality stuff. You can see some drones. You can yeah. play with some robots. Awesome. It's all sorts of great, exciting stuff. Uh, parents will be pushing their kids out of the way to get to the table. You had me at touching brains. Yeah. 
yeah, that's all yeah. I needed to know, sir. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Coming up next hour, more from the Amphibian Foundation, including a species of newt that I'm naming after Sharon Lawson. Because Whoa. here's the thing. It's so, it looks so beautiful. It's oh. sleek. It's cool. You look at it. You're like, I like that. But it okay. also then injects you with poison when it gets mad at you. Oh. It's, its ribs poke out of its, and it injects you with venom. A lot mm-hmm. like sure. Sharon. That's what? We don't cross her Interesting, around Paul. the station. Interesting. She we reminded don't. me that you were eating frog legs on Good Day Atlanta not that long ago. <laughs> but maybe that's a different story. Oh. Don't say that to the guys yeah. in here, okay? Uh-huh. There will be a yeah, revolt. Yeah, right. Keep your lips right. shut, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Stay Thanks, silent. Paul. For a list of Atlanta Science Festival events, including those taking place at the Amphibian Foundation, just follow links on fox5atlanta.com. You'll find the story under the Good Day section.